At one time, opioids were the primary source of pain relief for patients recovering from surgery. But with opioid addiction becoming a national health crisis, Local 3's Connie Feldman tells us about a new trend away from opioids in today's Health Watch. One in five people who've been prescribed opioids to manage pain from surgery struggle to stop taking the drugs long after the pain's gone away. Opioid addiction has been called a crisis. There's now a shift away from opioid painkillers. Here's how doctors and patients are preparing for pain relief before, during, and after surgery. Total joint replacement, tummy tucks, lung surgery. Those are kind of at the top of my list of very painful procedures. But any surgery can be painful to recover from. Dr. Michelle Humidian is a pain management expert at Ohio State. She's leading an initiative to minimize opioids for pain relief. She says patients should start preparing before surgery by taking acetaminophen at home. We kind of load that up in the system um, in the day or so before surgery, and then that helps us uh, have to give less opiates for their pain control. During surgery, doctors use numbing medicine that blocks the pain transmission to the brain and spinal cord. Then after surgery, patients can take over-the-counter acetaminophen or ibuprofen and use an anesthetic like lidocaine. Other types of interventions like heat, ice, elevation, those types of things, those can't be underestimated. Dr. Humidian says data shows non-opioid pain management results in less nausea and shorter hospital stays. Where we used to have patients that would require an overnight stay or two that are going home now after surgery. Dr. Humidian says hospital data shows a 50% reduction in opioid pain medication use among hospitalized patients. And that reduction remains consistent for the patients as they recover at home. She says while opiates do have their role, it's important that they be used as a backup instead of a first line of treatment. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Connie Fellman, Local 3 News.